Let's balance the redox reaction for CH3OH plus Cr2O7 2 minus. This is methanol, and we have the dichromate ion here. So the first thing we need to do is write the oxidation numbers for each element. I've already done that up here. If you need help, there's a link in the description and at the end of the video. Next, we can write the half reactions for the species of interest. Those are the ones whose oxidation numbers have changed. So that'll look like this. So these are the half reactions. If we look at the carbon, the carbon went from negative 2 to 0. So negative 2 to 0, that's a larger number. This has been oxidized. For the chromium, chromium went from plus 6 to plus 3. So that number became smaller. It's reduced. We've actually lost oxygen, so that makes sense. That's reduced. So this is our oxidation half reaction and our reduction half reaction. At this point, we can balance each of these half reactions up here. First, we'll balance the atoms. We have a carbon here and a carbon here. That's balanced. Chromium and then the chromium. So let's put a two here because we have two chromiums here, just the one. So we balance the atoms of interest. Now we can balance the oxygen atoms by adding water, since this is taking place in water. One oxygen, one oxygen. That's good. Seven oxygens and none. So let's put seven water molecules here. So now we have seven oxygen atoms on both sides. After we balance those oxygen atoms, we can add hydrogen ions so we can balance the hydrogen atoms. So we're doing this in acidic medium, so we'll have hydrogen ions here. I've got three plus one, four here, and then just two. So let's add two hydrogen ions here. Here I have seven times two is 14, so let's add 14 hydrogen ions over here. Finally, we're going to balance the charge by adding electrons to each side. So here I have two plus, let's add two electrons there. That balances the charge. Over here, it's a little bit more difficult. I have 14 plus and then the two minuses for the whole thing. So I have 12 plus in the reactants, two times three plus is six plus. So 12 plus here, six plus here. If I add six electrons over here, that'll balance the charge. The charge will be the same on both sides. So that's a little bit challenging. At this point, we're going to balance the overall equation here for electrons. Think of it this way. Over here, all of this, this is the reactants. These are reacting together, and they're forming these products. In the reactants, we have six electrons. In the products, we only have two. So that's not balanced. So we need to balance the electrons. With redox, we're balancing electrons and atoms. So I could just multiply everything here by three three, and that would not change any of the ratios. But now, three times two, that's six electrons over here. That would balance these six electrons. So what we'll do is multiply three times everything here, and then we'll put all of this together for our overall equation. So to be clear, for the reactants, we have three times this here, and then all of these reactants. That's this line here. For the products, we have three times this over here, and then we have all of this here together. So that's the complete reaction. Now we cross out things that are the same on both sides, like we have six electrons here and here. We can get rid of those. We have 14 hydrogen ions and six here. So let's get rid of these and then reduce this by six. So we have eight of those. Everything else is unique. So I'll clean this up and we'll have our redox reaction for CH3OH plus Cr2O7 2 minus. So this is our balanced redox reaction. And you know that you're right with these because you can check and make sure the charge is the same on both sides and that the atoms are balanced. For example, we have eight H plus, so eight positive charges, two negative. So that's a six plus in the reactants, two times three plus, that's six plus. So our charge is balanced, we've balanced that, and the atoms are balanced as well. It's Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for CH3OH plus Cr2O7, two minus. Thanks for watching.